Hello to YouTube people, this is me to win, bringing you a new Assassin's Creed Revelations video. As promised, I got my new joystick. It's the end of the week, so why not make another video? This time I'm gonna be playing on Deathmatch on... Well, uh, yeah, well, pretty much Deathmatch, you know. it's It's been a lot of Deathmatch videos recently, but... Excuse me for not being able to get any interesting assassinate gameplay clips, as I'm trying to go for a score or for kill dead ratio, and this time I actually managed to pull... Probably my best deathmatch score. I'm gonna be playing with the Sentinel with a guitar on Knight's Hospital. And believe me, this video will be very interesting to watch at first. I actually thought this would be my best video ever. And I was hoping to finish it that way, but sadly, I did not manage to keep the same rate to the very end. And I'll explain what that is in a second. Now, first off, you can see. The main thing you want to do on this map is head out for the rooftops, of course. Well, pretty much any time you're playing on any game mode, everybody's just gonna go for the rooftops. And I thought this Deacon was my pursuit, so I just decided to safety smoke myself and wasting my smoke, but still getting a nice little silent kill off the count, jumping down the hay bale, and I thought the Deacon was still after me, so I don't know. But it appears that the Renegade was after me, seeing how he tried to stun the Deacon, and now he's looking at me. So I just decided to move off like that and wait for him to come at me. You can see he's clearly coming up and bam, there you go, bro. He missed on me. So here we come to our first conclusion. What should you do when you spot your target or pursuer? First up, always lock, like I tried to do here, but I still haven't lost my line of sight, which means that I managed to lock him. And even if he does manage to hide in a blind group or something and tries to like slow up behind the corner, I'll still have my visual on him and get a nice little kill. I'm going to change this NPC's genetic code, making him look like me through the power of Blender, another perk I'm using. And it appears that this guy has not learned his lesson. Being the impatient little guy I am, I'm just going to get the nice little discreet hidden on him and seeing that this trickster spotted me, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss a smoke after which proceeding to execute her stomach. And yeah, I know I know I'm after her, but I was just panicking because the first rule of deathmatch is almost every time you're playing and you stun somebody, you're in first place mostly, you're gonna be getting two new pursuers every time you do that. So I was trying to distance myself, you can see I hair popped my disguise, and I know the trickster is somewhere around me, I'm just waiting for the meter to build up, but it appears it will not build up. So I was like, oh screw this. Turn around, let's get a nice little beat up on her. I'm gonna bitch slap you, bro. More like bitch, because well, she bitch slapped me, she only deserves it right. For now, it appears that the game is going smoothly, and this renegade is stupid as hell. I think that is pretty obvious, man. You should be less obvious on that match. You can see I got my first silent skill streak here, the 5 1, that gives me 550 points bonus, and I'm gonna get another one, hidden and silent on this girl here. Which brings us to our next point. So, first off, when you want to kill somebody, you have to try to make yourself as less obvious as you possibly can. And now how to do this? Well, always try to blend with a, with a blend group, because these people don't walk a straight line. They have a nice little, more like a uh, more like preset route, I guess. And they will not give away your position, even if you just let go of the movement, you know, you're just gonna move along with them. And as you just saw there, that was another sign, you'll see that the code is on right here is behind me, I'm just gonna wait here and... Uh, boops out. I even managed to censor it back. You know, so we don't get a lot of sexuality in this video. Oh, count. Have you missed my punches? Because I thought that kicks were enough for you. So that's how I got my second silent kill streak, and proceeding to kick this Tesbian in the stomach area yet again, I will delay the inevitable of me dying. Because let's face it, we're playing deathmatch and there's 10 minutes here. There is no way that anyone can survive for 10 minutes. Oh, Cortison, come closer. I need my focus for my variety. Apparently nobody told the courtesan that smoke in the ground while I'm on the rooftop is not going to do anything. So I'm just gonna jump on her head like that, because she is stupid. And that was another silent kill, so yeah, that counts towards my silent kill streak as well. 
until eventually I get many 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 pursuers and you know what that happens when you're on the ground and they're following you from the rooftops there's just no way to escape it so yeah congratulations it's been around five minutes or so I don't know um probably I can't exactly see the timer right now but I'm guessing it's like five minutes and twenty or so and yeah it was about time I die you will not learn will you Deacon that the variety is the point of this game because using only smoke and mute I've actually thought about it and I think it makes my video seem a bit noobish so I was trying to pop a nice little smoke in this cortisone but hearing whispers I wanted to toss it in my ground and come on nothing happened because I don't know my new joystick is a bit stiff that's what she said so yeah the buttons are not yet like that much manageable but still the, the, also the select and the start button on the back of the joystick I don't even know what that's so yeah also as I was saying this is a variety clip um, Idiots. This is a variety gameplay. You can see I'm not using my default class to smoke and mute or the smoke and poison. I'm using disguise and smoke, which is the variety for me. And trickster get trapped in there. Yeah. Now disguise is actually a really good um, ability that most people don't utilize. But when you're playing on deathmatch, disguise is probably the ability that will help you win the most. Now, seeing that this count actually spotted me here, I'm just gonna head for the rooftops, hoping that he misses on me, and in case he doesn't, well, I'm just gonna talk how this court is on head. Oh boy, we got ourselves another variety bonus, haven't we? That's a lot of points there, that's a lot of points. And I, I thought I was gonna get more, but you see the deacon bouncing on my head yet again, and yeah. I was thinking about switching to the smoke and mute, but I just decided not to, I mean, Come on, let's face it, it'd be, it'd be way too boring if I switched to the most overused class ever. Even though it is the best class to use, because let's face it, smoke and mute. It works both offensive and defensive. But let's think about it, so does disguise. I mean, you can pretty much disguise yourself and stun your pursuers, or you can disguise yourself and pop, it, and pop in a nice, silent, hidden kill from a blend group. I was trying to distract myself here, seeing that the Tesbian was actually after me. But, what do we know? The trickster is also there, so why don't we try to kill her? Oh, count. You foolish, foolish count. I'm hearing crazy whispers, which means that one of these guys is actually my pursuer. And you can see there, the renegade, I actually lured him into killing the other NPC that was in the blend group, using blender of course. So that's a bonus 100 points for me after the kill, but I can hear even more whispers right now, so I was thinking what to do, what to do now. I was thinking that one of these will eventually be my pursuer, so I decided to pop down and start kicking the hell out of everybody. But I only managed to stun one NPC, if that even counted as a stun. And I lost my contract. After which I have two pursuers, now three. And you can see we're pretty much in the royal screw part, because my blend group is going outside of the map. And off to the rooftops, I guess. Because let's face it. Having no idea where my oh, port is on. Step away. Nobody asked you. Right, and after having no idea of where my target was, the only way to deal with these things is to head out for the rooftops or another blend group. And seeing that there was no blend groups around me, I just decided to head out for the rooftops. And managing to get only one stun before the deacon once again palaces is on my head. I don't know what that's all about. I have no smoke, but I know for sure that one of these guys is actually my pursuer, so I was just trying to trick the deacon into coming here. And he obviously had no idea that I was disguised. That's the point of disguise. Um, lesbian, nice, really nice. I love it when the game does that, when like, the game just decides that she does not want you, that it does not want you to proceed onwards with your normal game. The Tesbian was my pursuer after um, after I stunned the deacon, she actually turned to my pursuer right in that moment and I was afraid that she saw me here. Apparently she did and she tossed a nice knife on me, I didn't expect that. I was trying to get away from here, you can see, but the knife slows you down by around 70% I believe, 70%. 
And you might ask, what is that red triangle on their head? Well, that, my friends, is Revelation. <sighs> yes, Revelation. It's also the title of the game. Deal with it. Alright, so I was supposed to kill the Renegade here, but I decided to die once more before the map ends. Um, yeah, Revelation, that is a death streak that you get when you die five times, lose a contract five times, or get stunned five times. Or again, you can get those mixed. For example, I might die three times, get my contract lost once, and get stunned once, I'm still gonna have Revelation on. So, yeah, it shows you all your pursuers in sight, which is a bit OP if you ask me, but I was just messing around with this class. I should have been using the boosted cooldowns one, because that one resets your cooldowns every time you die, and reduces their time by 10 seconds until you perform a kill. But yeah, that's pretty much been it, guys. The Sentinel is saying, come at me, bro, after the epic score on Night Hospital. That match, once again, I was hoping to keep this game a bit shorter. I wanted to showcase only the first, like, 3-4 minutes where I get the massive points, the massive kills, but you know, this is Assassin's Creed. You just can't pull that off. Also, another thing, I'm super excited about Assassin's Creed 3. I hope it's a great game, even though the recent screenshots do not apply to my lovings and likings. Because... It appears that the gameplay mechanics will be completely different and they might not be keeping anything from the previous Assassin's Creed. But this video is coming to an end, I'm gonna start speaking fast now. Thanks for watching guys, see you later and I hope you enjoy. Later!